Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a screen replacement on an HP Pavilion gaming laptop. As you can see that my screen is obviously cracked on the right side of it, and we're gonna change out the new screen, okay? So let me walk you through step by step on how to do so. So the first thing I like to do is to go ahead and turn off the computer. So let me go shut it down. So while the computer is shutting down, make sure that the power light goes off. It is okay for you to disconnect the battery, but for my case, I'm not going to disconnect the battery. It is just fine to remove the LCD by itself. All right, so the next step I like to do is to get the metal prying tool to pry open the bezel. So the bezel is kind of adhesive or around the side of the screen. Uh, so get yourself a metal prying tool, stick it in between that bezel right there. So we go a little, get yourself some room and you got to pry it open. You may find it a little bit difficult to, to get it up because like I said, there's a double sided tape tipping down the bezel. So you may have to go underneath that tape. Just be careful when you come to the top part right here. Uh, the webcam and microphone is attached to it. So just be careful not to uh, scrape or dent the internal part of it. So that is part of the tape that I just got scraped out and uh, just take your time when you come to the very bottom part of it uh, to not rush it because there you go. I do not want you to rush it by sticking too deep and cutting off those wires. Um, we just have to remove the bezel like so. Okay, so there's a tape all around the corner is tipping down the bezel so let's put the bezel on the side now here comes the screen as you can see that the screen does not have any screw that is holding down the screen what is holding down is the uh, double sided adhesive so you can see here at the bottom right corner uh, this little stringy right here all you have to do is just do not break it and I broke it ay ah, yeah. Let me try to work on the other side here. So you see, see, take a look here again. That little, like a cheese thingy. Okay, just keep pulling. That is the double-sided tape that taping down the screen. And when you pull, you can go pretty far. Okay, as you can see that the thing is is sticky and rubbery. And I'll try to figure it out how to get the other one out. I guess it's a good example that it happened to me. At least uh, let's figure out how to get it out. 
we probably need a little tweezer here and there. Alright, so once you pull out the two string, once you've done all that part, now the LCD screen should just come right off and we're just going to lift it up right here. Okay, gently open it towards yourself, towards your body. Uh, do not break that webcam cable that runs around here. All right, as you can see, the cables are still attached. And this is the double-sided, not double-sided, uh, this is just a tape that taping down and secure the connector. So what do we need to do is just to uh, get the tape out. We need to disconnect the connector. We're going to reuse that same tape so do not break that and then slide that cable away from you. So push it away from you, slide it out. And we're going to resave it, tape it and here's the screen. Okay, so this is the, uh, the screen replacement and I'll be looking for Try to look for this LM156LFBL made by Panda or maybe the one on the top. What I'll do is I'll link, um, I'll make the link down description below where you can um, click on the link and direct you to either um, Amazon or eBay where you can buy the, um, the replacement screen. Okay, so um, that's what I think. I would do for you uh, just to get the uh, uh, the screen, the tools, and everything linked down in the description below. You do need to have a double-sided tape, meaning that uh, you need to get one of this. Okay, so this tape right here is double-sided tape. What I suggest you to do is to tape it down first. Tape it down on the base of the, the computer. So remember that little sticky thing that goes all the way from here. Okay, that goes all the way from here to there. So what you want to do is uh, get the double-sided tape. Kind of go over to the hinge so that the next repair person would know and identify or oh, there's a tape uh, down on that side and they can just pull it off of that, okay? And then do it on the other side. So you have both sides of this. And all you have to do is to peel the plastic off. And once the new screen comes in, all you have to do is just to do the reverse process, get the uh, get the uh, uh, cable insert back into the new LCD, and then when you put it back, you just have to tape it up correctly. Okay, just tape it up correctly. So you want to realign and adjust as you go, and then once you have a good position, just tape it down. I'm just pretend this is the new screen. I do not have the screen yet because I need to match the serial number before um, I, I make a purchase of it. So that's the reference for me. 
and uh, but I'll do something easier for you and I'll link down in the description below so that is a good reference uh, you can just uh, click on that and once it's all done uh, all you have to do is to get the bezel and re-tape it back together if you feel like the bezel the original tape is is not sticky anymore what you can do is uh, buy buy this um, double-sided tape this is a 3 mm 3 millimeter if the 3 millimeter is too thick for you go ahead and get yourself a 2 millimeter the 2 millimeter will be a lot thinner meaning the thickness of the uh, the tape so that it can cover up the bezel all right i hope this video is helpful if you do find the video helpful please click the like haven't subscribed feel free to subscribe thanks for watching i wish you all the best in your screen repair bye now